Good people of YouTube, my name is Spanner and welcome back to another episode of Anacronox. Okay, so we're here at uh, Rowdy's. We got our gear, so let's uh, speak with people. Hey there. Mardomanonic. Nox guards raided the compound of the top three crime lords in the bricks last night. Guess Dead has got the house to himself now. Okay. What about you there? Marina Silvero. Hey Boots, there's glass in your hair. I know, it's all the rage on Cordica. Cord Can I get your drink? No. Uh, didn't I speak with you? Oh yeah, you want me to buy you some drinks. And that's too expensive right now. I've spoken with those two. What about you? Dim Jose. Man, oh man, Sly, I gambled away all my money at Casinox again. All I've got left is, is this slag of mistake I found. What do you think? Should I sell this junk or what? Hmm. It's just a glorified paperweight. Sell it. Or hold on to it. It could be worth something one day. Why don't you sell it? Why don't you sell it to me? I don't think I can buy it. It is kinda glowing. Yeah, what am I thinking? Thanks for the advice, man. Can I buy it? Hmm. Hey there. Valesta. Hey, Booter. Caught your swan dive earlier. Pretty sweet dudes. You like that? I've been practicing all week. Hey, you still looking for work? Well, I actually am. My friend Dinamo's been exploring the tunnels for some guy. Maybe they need an extra hand. She's slumming at Frank's Frank's flop house if you're interested. Thanks, babe. You're a peach. All for you, Booter. Okay, we found a job. There's a dynamo in Frank's flop house. What about you, Rowdy? You're just in a slump. We all go through them. I mean, not as long as you have, but we all go through them. I guess that that's everyone. Okay, let's get out of here. Who are you? Travis Kelly. Hey Boots, are you okay man? Didn't see what happened, but I heard the crash. You're resilient man. Thanks, I guess. Oh, what happened? It was just a... Oh, just a load screen. I thought... I thought it was a travel screen for some reason. Who are you? You there. You're friends with Rowdy. Why does he discriminate against floaters? I only want something to drink and an interesting conversation. We, Iowa, are an intelligent, well-spoken race. My cousin, Kay Conrad, is the master informant of the bricks. You should look him up. He likes to hang out at the Fountain Overlook. In exchange, maybe, maybe you can talk to Rowdy about letting me drink in the bar. Okay, yeah. A new quest? Sure. We can give it a go. Yo, Rowdy. Rowdy. Don't feel sorry for yourself, man. You're making me sick. Wait, why can't I talk to Rowdy about this? Um, okay, maybe that's not the quest. The quest is just to speak to the Master Informant. Alright. Uh, 
Um. You're gonna hit me, aren't you? No combat. How does this work? Ow! Was I supposed to do anything? Was it something I said? Yeah, to my sister. What? Can you only detect yeah. movement, maybe? There's a special introductory offer at the Temple of Beating up the street. Maybe it wouldn't hurt to brush up on those self-defense skills, don't you think? Ah, a combat tutorial, that's what I need. Stop at Whack Master Jax? Sure. I have a map. I don't think I have a map. You are such a lucky dog sometimes, Boots. Looks like someone dropped a Heal Grease Plus over there behind me. Heal Grease Plus. You know the drill, press F5, click on the icon of your face, then click the Heal Grease. Okay. That's not an easy item to find though, it was lying on the ground, no highlights, no anything. Oh, my pistol is broken. Heal Grease Plus. Do I still have a black eye? I do. This is weird. Gravity apparently is weird here. I hate this place. That poor creep fell 40 feet to his death. That graph path up there must have malfunctioned. Makes you wonder if you'll be ready when your number's up. Will you have lived the life you wanted to live? You look lost. What are you trying to find? Where's Whackmaster Jack's sample of beating? Just head up this ramp, follow the corridor, then hang a right. What about Frank's flop house? That's in the tenement. Just take Fountain Spiral about halfway up until you reach the first corridor on your right, then follow the signs, be prepared for a long walk. Okay, that's far away though. Let's go to Whack Masters. Uh, she did say right, right? Right, right. Keep walking unless you want a mouthful of blood and gravel, you monkey. Oh, that's just rude. I know I I set it up so I can save anywhere, but seeing these guys just reminds me I can save. Oh, I'm in Whackmasters. What's up here? That's a big guy. Is that the goon that beat me up? Sure looks like him. Ah, whack Master Jax. Fortunate, is it not, that such a place as this exists? I have nothing to fear in the dark of the night, for I have beefy whacking at my disposal. Hey, 
Hey, is this the guy that beat me up? To hit or not to hit? Not to hit. You're right. Forgive my violence. Robo target. You are a saint. Last night, while strolling home, someone was following me. I could tell, by the sound of his dainty footfalls, that he was a ruffian of the most degenerate sort. Just as he came within my grasp, I unleashed high-octane beefiness on him. I broke him, snap for snap, bone for bone. I held him like giant paintbrush, spelling out my name on the wall with his blood. Uh, okay, that's good to know. I can't access data links, but I pay I paid big bucks to modify PAL 18 to hotwire these suckers. Okay, so that's a thing I can activate. So where is the whack master himself? How do I train? Is it a is it upstairs? It looked more like a fight club. She says she likes men with broad shoulders, every guy she's gone out with is the size of a zongball player. But she complains they're dumb as dice. Well, I'm gonna be both, brains and brawn, all in one. I just need some help on the brawn. Come on Heenan, take a swing! Those robo targets are making a joke out of you. I guess it's not the same guy. Ah, the whack master himself. Judging, judging by the choice condition of that shiner, I suspect you're here to learn the fine art of the scuffle. The beat. The whack. No then, I don't take loafers. And I don't take thieves. I take students. And I expect respect. Give me any lip, and I'll fatten it. Before we begin, however, there's, there's the small matter of my training fee. Knowledge isn't cheap. But for a mere five loonies, we can begin our first lesson. Sounds great, here's your cash. Very good! Let's begin with a crash course on simple combat. The streets of Anachronox hide all manner of threat, and you would do well to learn some basics. Come, step into the ring. If you're gonna learn the way of the whack, you better cut... You better cut uh, jackwise and beef up on the fundamentals. Some of this will seem simple, basic even. But unless you got a firm grasp of the firm grasp, you're gonna be coughing up teeth instead of wisecracks next time you're in a scuffle. Got it? So let's learn the basic abilities and concepts that can make even an, an infirm bag -a loose change like yourself into a bastion of beat hoods. The first of these basic abilities is Might. It indicates how physically powerful you are in a fight. Something about that spare tire around your girdle tells me this ain't gonna be your forte. Might is an important attribute for both your beefiness and beat skill. The second of these basic, basic abilities is Agility. Your agility is what makes you fast, graceful and likely to avoid a licken. A true master of agility can dodge all but the most skilled attacks. Well, someday you might even learn to dodge that robo-target behind me. Right now, though, I'm just not seeing it, Tiger. Agility is an important attribute for your speed, beat, beat block skills. There are too many skills. The third and last of these basic skills is Wisdom. This one doesn't seem your forte either, but... Let's hope for your sake, there's still a brain cell or two rattling around in there. Hold on a sec, chief. I came here to learn how to fight. So far, all you've done is explain really obvious concepts while giving me the verbal smackdown. You're gonna teach me something useful or what? If you're gonna learn something, take your medicine and, br and uh, bridle your tongue. If you get frazzled this easily, you're gonna get sandbagged by the first scrapper you lock horns with. 
If you want to size up an enemy on the quick and make fast tactical decisions in the thick of the thick, drop your pride and use your brain. Your brain, squab. Wisdom boils down to intelligence, and though you can't drub an opponent with brains alone, a spoonful of wisdom can make a little might go a long way. Wisdom is an, imp is an important attribute for your beat block skill. These three main attributes, might, agility and wisdom, are what determine how good you are at all of your various skills. Until you really understand these obvious ideas, you're hopeless. You're hopeless. Get me? Now pay attention, the main skills used in, used in battle are beefiness, beat, speed and beat block. Your beefiness is your ability to deal large amounts of raw damage. Your beat is how good you are at hitting someone. Your speed is how fast you can attack. And your beat block allows you to avoid getting hit by your opponents. With me squab? Self-improvements are what separates us from the animal, so does a high-caliber beat pistol, which is noticeably absent from your person. Yeah, well, about that. See, I, um... Save it. It happens when your clientele are mostly deadbeats. I'll let you have this old Vistin pistol. It's old, it's beat up, but it's better than a bare-knuckle blood fight. Wherever you are, whatever you're doing, always have your weapon equipped at all times. The last thing you want to worry about when alley goons are kicking, are kicking your teeth into kibble is getting out your sidearm and loading it. Here, take it and equip it. Now let's see if you can shoot straight, boss. Combat time. Okay now, this is what it looks like whenever you get into battle. As soon as a, fright, uh, as a fight breaks out, your battle plaque will appear. It contains all the information and commands you need to fight. Whenever it's your turn in combat, battle icons will appear above the plaque. These allow you to select your next move in battle. Use the attack icon to try and plant a blow to your enemy. When you click on it, icons for all hostiles in the immediate vicinity appear. Use them to, sh to choose which one to attack. The move icon allows you to sidestep to other points in the battle arena. You can only select it if there's a place to move. We can discuss this in more detail later if you decide to, if you decide to continue your training. The item icon allows you to use items from your inventory. Again, you'll only be able to select it if you have battle usable items in your inventory. This we can also discuss further if you decide to continue training. The action icon allows you to use something in the immediate environment, but only if you can reach it from where you're standing. This too we can scrutinize further if you continue your training. Sense a trend? Oh, is this until it... Does this spinny red thing... Um... Do I have to wait for it to... Uh, perform a full circle before I before it's my turn. Oh, you might have noticed the circle filling up on your battle plaque. This, my friend, is your battle timer. You would do well to pay attention to it. You can only perform actions when it reaches full. Once it fills up, try shooting the robo target using the attack icon, then clicking on his battle icon. You can cancel the action by to, by right clicking on your mouse or by hitting escape. Okay, let's beat attack this guy. 11 damage. Seventy three damage. Wow. Ha! Did you think he would just take a poke without fighting back? Can't stir up a hornet's nest without getting stung, that's why it's important to keep an eye on your health. Your health bar shows shows you how much life you have left. Looks like he landed quite a wallop. Go ahead and take another shot at him, and then we'll move on. Take that robot. Not 
Not bad, kid, but you need to loosen up. You hold a gun like it's a dead rat, you gotta risk it better. You got plenty of potential, but don't let it go to your head. Especially after seeing what that robot droid did to you with one hit. You're gonna need a ton of tutoring if you're gonna shape if we're gonna shape you into a bastion of unstoppable beat hoods. I'll tell you what. I wouldn't normally do this, but you can't learn or pay me if you're dead. Some porker once paid me with a life cursor shield upgrade. Since I don't even own one, why don't you take it? No really, you caught me on a generous day. Go ahead and, and apply the upgrades. I'm curious to see if it's if it's uh, got any guts. Now that we've spiced up your life cursor, you'll notice a new battle icon and a full bar that we haven't discussed yet. Pay attention, here's the fun stuff. This new icon is for your battle skill. Battle skills are special moves that you can perform during battle. They're quite powerful but require special energy to execute, unlike beat attacks that you can do every turn. This special energy which slowly accumulates during battle is called Bouge Booge. I'm going I'm going to go with Booge. Just because it sounds funny. Keep track of how much you have left with your Booge bar. Note that different battle skills require different amounts of Booge. But enough talk, let's use your new battle skill by selecting on the battle skill icon. Selecting the battle skill of your choice and then click on your image. Oh, on my image. So skill, Fatima screen. Is it a shield? Let's cut it up, boy. Oh, I took uh, significantly less damage. Excellent! Last time the robot target hit you for 73 damage. With the upgrade screen, he only hit you for 32. Quite a difference. Well, congratulations, Squab, you survived your first lesson. Now that you know the basics, we can build on them. As part of the introductory offer to the Temple of Beating, every new client gets two Heal Grease Plus at the end of their first lesson. Judging by the way that robot beat you around, you're gonna need it. Come grab me again when you're ready for your next lesson. Oh, I've gained a level. What does that mean? Do I get to uh, pick stuff? Or do my stats just level up automatically? I guess they do. Otherwise I'd probably get a tutorial of some kind. How do I leave and how's my health? It's fine. How do I leave the arena? Oh, I have to click on the door. I never know, sometimes it loads a new area, sometimes I have to click it. Weird. Anyways, that's all the time we have for now. So, thanks for watching another episode of Anacronox, I hope you enjoyed it. And as usual, don't miss the next episode, because I won't. I will see you all next time.